I'm Bart Gilbar, I'm here with David Crane, CEO of NRG. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for attending the Energy Biz Leadership Forum. Um, just a few questions today. First, uh, as you know, the industry is facing, facing a number of significant challenges and opportunities. We have issues related to carbon capture and regulation around carbon. We have issues related to infrastructure build out, such as transmission, generation, and so forth. We also have smart grid related issues and automation efficiency issues. Among all of those, which would you consider to be the most significant and the most challenging? Well, I think it, 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 it's hard to uh, separate them in the sense that what you want is uh, a coherent plan that, that doesn't have any uh, a weak, weak link in the chain. And so I think you have to look at the generation model you want tied with the transmission and then uh, in the retail as well. Uh, from our perspective, I would say that getting the next generation of baseload uh, generation in place is a critically important issue and we believe that that baseload generation needs to be low carbon baseload generation sure. so that to us is nuclear and clean coal and we can have a whole other discussion about what that is on the transmission side I personally am not a big believer in the idea of a national high voltage transmission grid uh, nothing wrong with it in theory I just don't think it's practical right. so I think it's more important to, to strengthen the grid where it needs to be strengthened locally but to get definitely smart meters in place because I think smart meters uh, are the key to getting customer acceptance of sort of all the different things that need to be done in terms of energy consumption uh, right. more more efficiency in the house right can lead to a more informed consumer <coughs> Now, uh, since we're in Washington, D.C., what do you think the Obama administration, Congress, and federal and state regulators can do to help NRG and, and other companies and consumers? Well, I think uh, the Obama administration right now, with the, with the focus that they put through the stimulus on, on, on giving money, loan guarantees to the Department of Energy to encourage new forms of uh, technology, the deployment of new forms of technology, I think that that's very important. What we're really in right now is the implementation stage of that and um, so from the Obama administration's perspective I think they took an important and a good first step this now but now it, you know the devil's in the details actually getting the the stimulus money the the loan guarantees out the door in, in the full range of technologies then of course monitoring the projects to make sure they go well because at the end of the day uh, they represent the taxpayers and as taxpayers we don't want to see the money uh, squandered either. Right, they are challenging things and it's been said that the Obama uh, efforts have helped move us from the threshold and get us going and the rest is kind of up to us. So that's actually a good segue into my next question. Uh, in 2009 and, and of course uh, coming current through the first part of 2010, the Obama administration, the Department of Energy has awarded you know tens of billions of dollars in grants, a lot of it earmarked for the industry. Uh, what kind of impact are you seeing with those grants? The stimulus grants, because almost everything in the energy industry is a long lead time item, I, w I would not say I have yet seen the impact of actually th that money having been granted, leading to metal in the ground, leading to new types of technology being uh, fully completed and then tested. We're, we're still too early in the cycle for that. What I would say that's important about uh, the, the Obama and the stimulus and the new energy technologies is that it's led to a tremendous I think outpouring, you know, sort of the uh, let a thousand flowers bloom. I mean, yeah. people are seeing opportunities. They're they're working on projects that they might otherwise say, "Well, this is a great idea," but there's no way we'll ever achieve debt financing, particularly in this situation on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the Obama administration and the uh, potential availability of stimulus funding gives people a lot of hope. And I think, at the end of the day, great things will come out of it. But we probably won't see the the full impact of that for probably five years. That's right. Investments we make today, you know, we'll pay back in the future if they're, if they're undertaken properly. Well, course. and you know, they say that, uh, well, you know, will someone like myself who's 51, will I be alive in the year 2050? I don't know if I will be or not. But right now I'm effectively alive in 2050 when it comes to capital investment decisions right. in this industry because we're obviously making decisions today to build things which will be here as productive uh, assets of society, you know, 40 years from now. Yeah, for future generations to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, if you could indulge me with one more question before we wrap it up today. Sure. Later tonight, you will be announced as recipient of the Kite Award for CEO of the Year. If I could ask you to just reflect on what that means for you personally, of course, as well as for NRG. Well, 
it's it's a, it's obviously a, a great honor. But um, you know, when you're CEO of a company, I, one of my most favored uh, things that I tell the other executives that work at NRG, and probably one of their least favorite things hearing is that. You know, I'm the, I'm the only one that uh, is entitled not to work for a living. The rest of you actually have to do something. And so whenever you get, get an award, uh, uh, like a CEO of the Year Award, it, it's really t uh, totally a reflection of the company and what the company accomplished. And I'm very proud of what uh, NRG accomplished during 2009. And a lot of what we accomplished was under pretty challenging uh, circumstances. So, so. So for myself, I'm proud to get the recognition, but it's obviously the, the people that work at the company that, that really deserve the praise. Yeah, it sounds like you have a great company there and certainly a strong reputation in the industry. So. Well, I just hope I don't ruin it as I go forward. <laughs> so. I think you're in good hands with your team and they're in good hands with you. So thank you. David Crane from NRG.